Well, what have we here? Two fierce looking muscle cars and a sunny afternoon to shake them around by the neck. The Dodge Charger and Challenger were born in the gas guzzling muscle car era of the 1960s and 70s with lots of V8 bravado. When you look at these two road warriors, you can almost smell the burning rubber and hear the throaty roar of drag races past. So before we bring you a shootout between the legendary Charger and Challenger, here's a bit of history. Introduced in 1970, the Dodge Challenger was the ultimate two-door hot rod, made famous in the film Vanishing Point. The car went out of production in the 1980s, but came back to roaring life in 2008 and has been in production ever since. There have been three generations of Challengers and Dodge has made many significant updates and improvements over the years. The biggest of which was a total redesign in 2015, when the Challenger rolled out with new aggressive styling, an upgraded interior, and more power. In the other corner of this brawl, the Dodge Charger debuted in 1966, and there have been seven generations of the car that made the Dukes of Hazard famous on TV back in 1969. It was a two-door coupe until it was redesigned in its sixth generation as a four-door sedan in 2006. Dodge made massive changes to the car again in 2011, and the current seventh generation Charger roared to life with a big chip on its shoulder. Like the Challenger, the 2022 Charger offers revised styling, new infotainment and driver's assist features, an upgraded interior, and gobs of horsepower. There's a lot of similarities between these two speed demons. There are also some striking differences. Here's what you need to know about how these two cars are different. The Challenger is a Mad Max inspired two-door coupe with a small but usable back seat. It offers a comfortable ride and slightly better acceleration and handling than its brother, the Charger. The Charger is a four-door sedan and it can accommodate five people. There's definitely more interior room and cargo capacity than in the Challenger. Of these two cars, it also gives you a slightly smoother ride. Mechanically, the Challenger and Charger are similar. They share the same car platform and construction. For this shootout, we decided on the road and track performance trim and 5.7 liter V8s. Which one's right for you? Let's find out. Both cars have a base model 3.6 liter V6 that bridles 305 horses and 268 pound-feet of torque. There are two V8s on tap, including the RT's 5.7 liter, 370 horsepower Hemi version with 395 pound-feet of torque and eight-speed automatic transmission, or the mighty 6.4 liter, 485 horsepower with 475 pound-feet of torque version with a manual gearbox available on the Challenger. If more power and white knuckle speeds what you're after, both cars also come in a snarling Hellcat version. We're talking about supercharged 6.2 liter V8s that produce 717 horsepower and a staggering 656 pound-feet of torque. However, the 5.7 liter V8 is more than enough to get you to the bowling alley and back with plenty of throaty rumble and tire squealing. The V6 versions obviously provide the best EPA estimates. Though the four-door Charger is heavier, both cars receive nearly identical gasoline economy ratings. The V6 gets an EPA estimate of 23 miles per gallon in combined city and highway driving. All-wheel drive variants drop to 21 miles per gallon. The 5.7 liter V8 is paired exclusively with rear-wheel drive and is rated at 19 miles per gallon combined city and highway. With a six-speed manual, the numbers drop to just 18 miles per gallon. The 6.4 liter V8 is predictably even worse, getting 18 miles per gallon combined with the eight-speed automatic and 17 miles per gallon with the manual tram. Simply put, the more power, the more you'll pay at the pump, and those V8s require premium fuel. Both cars are very similar on the inside. You'll notice the same console, controls, dashboard, stuff like that. They have almost identical trim levels. But the four-door Charger definitely has more headroom and legroom, and there's a little bit more room in the trunk. Though a bit more cramped inside, the Challenger still has more room inside than a Chevy Camaro. If you're thinking of taking a long road trip, the Charger is probably the more practical choice. Not that these cars are anything about being practical. 
When it comes to trim levels, the V8 versions offer more power, stiffer suspension, better brakes, and cooler wheels and tires, as well as heated leather seats. Dodge's Uconnect infotainment system is available on both cars. It features Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We think the optional larger touchscreen is worth the extra money. Driver assist technology such as forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and lane departure warning are available options. When comparing these two brutes, the lighter two-door Challenger feels more connected to the road as you traverse twisty canyons. Neither vehicle is particularly nimble. These are street fighters, plain and simple. On the highway, both are comfortable and fairly quiet over their throaty exhaust. While the V6 is less thrilling than its Meteor V8 brothers, it manages to hold its own and is a pleasure to drive. But V8 power is what these ground pounders are all about, and the 5.7 liter version accelerates like a scalded dog. We're impressed with these cars' ability to rip around and snarl all day long, but still purr around town. But here, here's what you came to see. The 5.7 liter V8 powered Charger and Challenger handles zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and a quarter mile in 13.4 seconds, while the hellacious SRT Hellcat monsters will peel off zero to 60 miles per hour in a mere 3.4 seconds and take a quarter mile in a blistering 10.9 seconds. Few cars today combine the feeling of muscle car nostalgia with modern comfort and technology as do the 2022 Dodge Challenger and Charger. While the Challenger's lighter body serves up a bit better performance and is slightly less expensive, the Charger offers four doors and more room for the family. When checking out these two cars, one will clearly speak to you more than the other. It's up to you to decide which one answers your call of the wild.